Hey guys, welcome back to HammerChoice.net. This is Raju and today I've got another Android 101 for you. Now if you've got songs on your computer or some pictures that you want to transfer onto your phone or vice versa, I'm going to show you how to do it without plugging your phone into the computer using a USB cable. I mean, who wants to carry a USB cable around all the time? So in order to do this, you need an application called Swift, uh, how's it pronounced, S-W-I-F-T-P, as you can see here. Um, you need to install this on your phone. Uh, the link's in the description as always. Anyways, moving on. Now, in order for this to work, your phone will have to be connected to the network. So basically what that means is you'll have to be connected to the main Wi-Fi access point in your computer or device you want to transfer the files back and forth with. Um, it'll be, you'll have to be connected to that network. Um, so let me show you how it's done. So I've already got it installed. Uh, what you want to do is launch the application like so and it'll take you to the settings page and the first thing you want to do is give you give it a username so I put my name down here Raju and give it a password so for me I've just put down one two three four just a basic password just just to show you how it's done um, once you've done all that what you want to do is scroll down and click save now next thing you want to do is click start and straight as you click start you see on the notification tray that it shows you the FTP icon right there so that means it started uh, you can see it says it's running uh, it will give you a web URL that you've got to type in to actually access the device like a USB storage um, let me show you how that's done so I'm just going to move away from this now and just open up my computer and type in that FTP or that IP address that's right here. So I'm going to do that right now. and Once you type it in, just press enter. And then it's going to ask you for your username and your password. So like I said, um, I put my username as Raju and my password was 1234. Uh, you can save the password so you don't have to keep pressing it every time. Um, but for now, I'll just leave it blank and just click uh, log on. And now you're in your actual device, just like a mass USB device, uh, USB storage device. So what you want to do is go into your SD card. And I've already created a folder here before. Um, should be here. Name the example. So you can see on my actual Galaxy S2, I've got a folder called example, um, and it's got an image there, a JPEG file called Nexus Prime. And here on the right side, this is an actual folder on my computer. I've got uh, two MP3 files on there. So just to show you how easy it is, I'm going to transfer these two files over to my actual um, Galaxy S2. So I'm just going to select it like you would do with anything else, um, and then I'm just going to drag it along and it should automatically copy it. You can see it's doing it. It might be slightly slower than you know using an actual USB cable but it's a lot less hassle. So I'm just going to let that complete. Now the application is completely free. Um, you don't have to pay for it whatsoever. It's SWIFTP server. Um, so I re really recommend you download this. Well, let's just give that a couple of seconds to complete. And obviously once it's completed, I'll show you on the actual device that it has transferred to it. So just a couple more seconds. And that's done. So now I'm just going to go back to my home screen on the phone. And I'm going to go into my file explorer. And let's look for the folder example. Should be on the top actually. There you go. And you can see both the MP3 tracks are right on there. Now, what we want to do is uh, show you how to transfer uh, a file from your device to your computer. It's basically exactly the same. What you want to do is just click it and then drag it onto your computer or the folder that you want it in. 
and it's there. If I just make that bigger, you can see the image has transferred over. So it's as simple as that. That's all you've got to do, just follow the instructions. Um, if you need any help, just leave a comment below. And that's all for today. Anyway, take care, guys.